Hi folks, it's William with Lodestone here with another quick tip for you. Now today's quick tip comes to us from Adobe InDesign. And so you've probably faced this dilemma before. In this case, I have a parts catalog, but it could be any type of document. You have several images that you want to place on the document, and you want those images to fit within a certain area. Now, you want them all to be the same. So that's what I have here in this parts catalog. I have all of these empty image frames that I want to place my product images in. Unfortunately, my product images, well, one, they're much larger than these smaller size placeholders here and then two they're different sizes from each other so some are a little larger than others some different aspect ratios than others so how do I get this to work out inside of InDesign well there's a little secret here to the fitting options of these containers so normally you'd have to do this one at a time you'd place an image and choose fitting options but did you know that you could choose your fitting options up front well sure you can so normally what happens if I place an image, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut here of Control D, that's Command D on a Mac, to place an image. I'm going to choose this first image here, and I'm going to use my place gun now and just mouse right over that container where I want the image, and I'm going to click to place it inside. But as you can see, we're only seeing a small portion of that image. Well, let's do this. I'm going to step backward here just a moment. I'm going to undo that, hit the escape, and I'm going to select the container first. Next, I'm going to go up to my object menu. From the object menu, I'm going to choose fitting and frame fitting options. Now in here, there is a content fitting uh, area. I'm going to choose that and I'm going to say I want to fill the frame proportionately. I can also choose an alignment option here for the image. The default when you place an image is typically this upper left-hand corner. So the left-hand corner of the image fits into the left-hand corner of the image frame. And that may work for you, but me personally, I generally select the center. So I'm going to select the center, leave everything else at its defaults, and tell it OK. Now, this is a parts catalog, so I'm going to have literally hundreds, maybe thousands of these images that I have to put in here. And I'm going to have to go through that process in each and every one of them. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do instead is create an object style. So right over here in my object styles panel, I'm going to mouse over the create new style button, hold down my alt key, that'd be option key on a Mac, and click. I'm going to give this a name. And then over here in the basic attributes category. If you scroll to the bottom, there is an option here that says frame fitting options. And right now it's in its neutral state. It will not capture that property. So I'm going to click on that to make sure there's a check mark in it. And now it's going to capture that frame fitting attribute that I applied. I'll tell this OK. And now I can apply that to these other empty image frames. There we go. So now that has been applied. Let's see what happens when we start placing images. Once again, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut to place this image. And I'm going to actually grab several of them here. And now when I place them inside of each of those containers, no matter how big the image is, well, it simply scales it to fill that container proportionately. Now, you can also go in, and let's say on this particular one, I want to draw some attention to a different area here. Maybe I just don't like the cropping of that. When I target this image, you can see that, well, it's a little bit larger than the container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the left a bit more. Because really what I want to capture is maybe some of this information here. And there we have it. So you can always modify these later, but look how fast and how easy it is to quickly format and scale your images to fit predetermined boxes. If you want to learn more about Adobe products and e-learning products, be sure to check us out on the web at lodestone.com.